be showing you how to fix this uh, BSD root error that you get when trying to jailbreak with uh, the Z iPhone. Uh, what you want to do is hold down the uh, power button and the home button down until your iPod uh, powers off. And at that point, what you want to do is uh, let go of the power button but continue to hold the home button. What you want to do is unplug it while still holding the home button and then plug it back in and continue to hold the home button until you see the connect to iTunes sign pop up. So I'm going to go ahead and set the camera down and do that real quick. We'll hold the two buttons. Let's press them until it powers off. Okay, it's off. I'm going to let go of the power button. Still hold the home button. Unplug it. Still holding the home button. Plug it back in. Keep holding it. Okay. Now at this point, you go back to the uh, Z iPhone, and you're gonna click on right here where it says uh, "Click to Show Advanced Features." And what you want to do is click on Normal Mode. It says starting phone in normal mode. There's a little status bar down there. It takes a little while. It doesn't take too long though. And as you can see, the uh, iPod power back up. So at this point, you can try jailbreaking again. Um, this is basically down to timing. You're either clicking jailbreak too late or too soon. Um, one way I tried that worked this last time is just double click, don't jailbreak, and that's it. Don't touch anymore. Don't worry about clicking it when it says recover anything. Just double click jailbreak. And uh, we'll see if it works this time. And what do you know? It works. It's that easy. Just double click jailbreak. Um, but that's how you get out of um, the BSD, BSD root error and uh, how you jailbreak it. I'm going to show you. I want to boot up. I'll just let it keep going and show you that it is jailbroken. Slide down lock. There you have it. There's the installer. Jailbroken.